Hey guys, it's Adam Mishan here, singer, songwriter, and vocal coach. Today I've got a different video, and as the title says, we're putting these two mics up against each other. And as I'm speaking right now, I'm going to be switching between the two microphones so that you guys can get an idea of what the two sound like, and uh, just on spoken word, what is the quality difference. Now, you would expect a $1,000 microphone to sound significantly better than a much cheaper microphone. But sometimes that's not actually the case. So we're gonna take a listen here and see what you guys think. I'm actually very surprised with how far cheaper microphones have come these days. There was once upon a time, a time where the cheaper microphones really sounded cheap. I don't think that's so much the case anymore. Run, run, lost boy, they say to me. So just so you guys know, this one is a blue microphone, blue bottle rocket stage one with the B8 capsule, I believe. And this one is the Toner TC20. So this is gonna give you guys a really good idea of what the price to performance ratio is with microphones. And I'm actually quite impressed with how the toner microphone stands up against a much, much more expensive microphone um, in the $1,000 range by one of the most highly regarded microphone companies, Blue. And for many of you, this microphone is really gonna be priced way out of your price range. So it's gonna make much more sense for you guys to get something like this, especially if there's not going to be so much of a difference between the two in terms of sound. But you guys are going to be the judges of that. I'm not going to try to skew your ideas one way or another. We're going to put both of these microphones through a bunch of tests to really see how they hold up at louder volumes, how they hold up with transient response, and really kind of see, is there a big difference between the two? Now, with this microphone, you actually get a lot of stuff and all for 60 bucks US. So it comes with with the microphone itself, this microphone shock mount, and the boom arm itself. And the boom arm is actually one of my favorite parts of this whole thing. Um, I, I upgraded to this boom arm, you guys can't see it, but uh, I'll show you a quick clip of it. But that boom arm was, I think, close to $100. I think it was $100 on Amazon. Whereas this one is coming complete with the microphone itself, all for 60 bucks, and it is actually upgraded in many ways. You'll notice that the desk mount, the part where it actually makes contact with the desk, is much more solid and much more robust than it used to be. As well as the boom arm itself, there's not like a, a ton of noise from the springs as you move it. As you could tell right there, I was moving it, and it's pretty silent. So that is pretty amazing that it's coming with that type of quality of mount for that price. The other thing that I really like, and this is a small thing, but the clamp for the pop filter that I'm using right here is a small clamp that's actually created just to be used with this type of stand. Now, I used to have a pop filter that had this massive clamp that was made to clamp onto a microphone stand, a much thicker microphone stand. And so it came with much more of a substantial mount and it looked really weird being mounted on this tiny little arm of the boom arm. Whereas this looks much nicer, much cleaner. And I really like that element here. For this reason, this is definitely a pop filter that I'd be happy to use with a stand like this. As you can see behind me, I've got another stand that I use for my videos. And and if I needed a pop filter, this would be the one that I would be using because it's just so much more effective to use a smaller clamp than the massive clamp that comes with most pop filters. Now, with all that said, also there is a wire that comes with it, a microphone cable. So this would be my one gripe with this microphone is that microphone cable. I tried plugging it in to my USB interface and it just was not going in and I didn't want to break my USB interface. Usually the microphone cables are going to be the cheapest possible element in the whole package and you can definitely see that. It's a much cheaper, lower quality budget cable. And it's important to note that whatever cable you're gonna use, that is probably gonna be the weakest link in your setup. 
and your setup is only going to sound as good as your weakest link. So if you have a really crappy quality cable with a very expensive microphone, you're gonna degrade the overall sound quality and not get the full benefit out of the microphone. So if you're gonna spend $1,000 on a microphone, you know, spend 20 bucks on a decent cable. It's not that big of a deal that it should be a deal breaker in that way. So I wouldn't recommend the cable that comes with this microphone just because of that main main issue. Now I do want to mention here that this video is sponsored by Toner. So I want to say a big thank you to them for doing that. But I also want to let you guys know that this in no way colors my view of it. And they actually encouraged me, which I thought was really cool of them as a company. They encouraged me to give my honest opinions in this video. And that's exactly what I'm going to give you. I'm going to give you my personal opinion on all the products here. And everything that I mentioned so far is the good and the bad. I think that there are some good elements and I think there's some elements that can be improved, i.e. the cable. But I am giving you 100% my own opinion without coloring it. So basically you're getting my honest review here despite the fact that they sent me the microphone and sponsored the video. They requested that I give an honest review of their product and that's what I'm gonna do. So let's start to move it through. We're gonna jump into some singing. First off, I wanna do a quick test of really loud singing. If you wanna sing with more confidence and power, then you have to sign up for my lesson subscription. You get two group lessons with me personally every single week. You get access to all my courses and you get access to recordings of all my one-on-one -on -one lessons with my students. That will help you learn vicariously through them. Click the link down below to sign up now. A lot of microphones, they're gonna start to have trouble at high SPL levels, so really high levels of sound. So this is a really great test to get an idea of how these microphones cope with really loud sounds. So let's do that. Oh! So that is quite a loud sound. I hope it didn't clip the microphones. Good, didn't clip the microphone, so that's good. So you're gonna get an idea of how they handle a higher SPL level than most singing is going to be. And so if you're doing any sort of screaming, you'll be able to know how do these stack up with one another. Now let's hear how it sounds on a sung piece. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight Oh, the ramparts we watched Were so gallantly streaming And the rocket's red glare The bombs bursting in air Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light What so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight Oh, the ramparts we watched Were so gallantly streaming And the rocket's red glare The bombs bursting in air so that way you guys kind of get a quick sung piece. Let's try something a little bit softer. Oh, Canada, our home and native land. 
true patriot love in all our sons command with glowing hearts we see thee rise the true north strong and free from far and wide o canada we stand on guard for thee o canada our home and native land true patriot love in all our sons command with glowing hearts we see thee rise the true north strong and free from far and wide o canada we stand on God for thee. All right, so that's just something a little bit lower down, a little bit softer, give you guys that idea. And let's do a couple of tests. This is a test mostly for the pop filter to see how well it works, but Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. Let's see how those do up against each other. Sally sells seashells by the seashore. Sally sells seashells by the seashore. Right, so that gives you guys a good idea of how these microphones deal with all the different aspects to the voice. And for all you singers that are looking for a microphone, here is as much of an apples to apples comparison that I could do. Getting the microphones as close together here so that the capsules are kind of equidistant from my mouth. I'm about six inches away from the microphones and it's getting both of them picked up simultaneously through the exact same preamplifiers. So we're as close to getting a scientific sort of comparison and shoot out here as we can. So let me know in the comments down below which one do you guys prefer on my voice? And it's important to note that every microphone is going to sound different on different people's voices on different instruments. So that's something to keep in mind. But what do you guys think? How do the microphones stack up one against the other? Do you really hear a $960 difference between this microphone and this microphone? I'll have links to both of these microphones in the description down below where you can access them if you are interested in purchasing one of them.